something very interesting I came across at CNN, um, a, an awful lot of uh, testimony, uh, the depositions before the J6 committee in, in, their, in all their various and sundry sessions, 90% of which we've never seen until these uh, reports are being released now. But there was a text exchange between a woman named Julie Radford. She was Ivanka Trump's chief of staff, Julie Radford, and Hope Hicks, who was a White House aide to, uh, to the Orange Vomit. And this text exchange shows their <clears throat> righteous anger over Trump's actions on January 6th. And in their exchange, they talk about, <clears throat> and this is self-serving, I understand, but these are just employees. Um, they said that it was hurting them professionally, what Trump did on January 6th, hurting them. This is according to these newly released documents that were collected by the uh, J6 committee investigating what happened. Um, Hope Hicks wrote to... Julie Radford. Now, let's try to keep the name straight. Julie Radford was Ivanka's chief of staff. Of course, she had one because, remember, Ivanka was an advisor to the president. So, Julie Radford <laughs> wrote to Hope Hicks, sent her a text. I'm sorry. Hicks wrote it. I'll get this right. Hicks wrote it to Radford on January 6th, this, quote, in one day, he, that's Trump, in one day, he ended every future opportunity that doesn't include speaking engagements at the local Proud Boys chapter. All of us that didn't have jobs lined up will be perpetually unemployed. I'm so mad and upset. We all look like domestic terrorists now. And then she added this. This made us all unemployable, like untouchable. God, I'm so fucking mad. End quote. Radford responded with this, quote, I know, like there isn't a chance of finding a job. End quote. And she indicated she already lost a job opportunity from Visa, which sent her what she called a blow-off email. <laughs> <coughs> But I, 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 I thought it was kind of funny when Hope Hicks wrote, you know, uh, every one of us, we've all lost future opportunities except to speaking engagements at the local Proud Boys chapter. I'm sorry, but even in the worst of times, you can find some dark humor. I thought that was very funny. Anyway, um, this new release is part of a steady stream of documents from the committee that, uh, you know, they're trying to get out. I guess they have, what, today? And that's kind of it. Uh, and this stuff, these, these documents, complement the release of that 845-page report. But this is like um, um, uh, addenda to that report or f further evidence to that report. And this latest comes as the uh, J6 panel winds down its work uh, because today the House majority is set to change from uh, Democrats to Republicans. I think today, or was it yesterday? No, I, I, guess it was, uh, I guess it was yesterday. So anyway, in the text messages, Hope Hicks also says, Alyssa looks like a genius. Now, that's an apparent reference to Alyssa Griffin. She resigned from her post as a White House aide one month before the attack. And Hicks, and, and yeah, yeah <laughs> she looks like a genius. Maybe Alyssa Griffin was able to tap into some of the intelligence that the FBI and the Defense Department didn't find necessarily upsetting. Who knows? But this woman... Alyssa Griffin resigned December 6th. And Hope Hicks calls her, uh, says Alyssa, uh, Alyssa looks like a genius now. Anyway, uh, uh, these two women, Hicks and Radford, then discussed Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump's uh, in-law, Carly Kloss. 
tweeting that Trump's response to the election was anti-American. And Radford tweeted, unreal. Well, of course it was unreal. But, you know, when these, when these people went to work for the Trump administration, I, I mean, these were, these were late hires. These were people who had seen Trump, who had heard Trump, and all his bullshit. And, and who knew if they took five minutes to do a Google search on this bastard, knew what they were getting into. So I don't think it's unreal, Miss Radford, at all. I think it's very real. What is unreal is that you went to work in this bastard's nest. That's what I find unreal. I, I mean, I, I don't know what else is necessary to completely, literally indict this filthy pig, Donald Trump, for what he tried to do. And if he is not indicted, you know, there's a lot of discussion. How do you indict a former president? Oh, my God. How do you put him on trial? If it doesn't happen, we are leaving the country open to the next time or the time after that. This is serious business. These militias that have been <clears throat> organizing for the past 30 or 40 years, ever since Reagan, they're in their second, maybe third generation now. Some of these crazy little boy punk asses that exist in these militias. Um, these people will kill. They will commit chaos, murder, violence, burnings, looting, bombing. They will do this. And they will destroy this country because they are scum, because they are punks, because they are terrorists. Very simply put, they are domestic terrorists. And as such, they don't give a rat's ass about this country. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.